Here's a quick video on how to replace the controller inside your feeder. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hold on. We've got a lot of white-tailed deer on our place. When they stopped showing up at the feeder a couple days ago, I went down and checked it out. Sure enough, this old control box that I bought 20 years ago, give up the ghost. This thing has been abused over the years, and I'm amazed that it lasted this long. It's time to replace it. When I put this assembly on 20 years ago, I decided to use rivets. Wasn't really any way to get on the inside of this barrel. I don't mind. If every 20 years I got to drill out a couple of rivets, that's not a big deal. Oh, sh the feeder police. Nothing. I think all these digital controllers are about the same. They have four wires, two to the battery and two to the electric motor. And with the older motors, at least, these DC motors, it don't matter even if you hook them up backwards. I mean, it'll spin backwards, but the deer don't care. I like that this new Moultrie controller that I bought has a, a, a quick detach in the middle so you can take the whole controller out or replace it or whatever. I think it was a good idea. Believe it or not, I'm not a professional solder. -er. <laughs> but you know what? We're not Tony Stark trying to build the Iron Man here. It's a deer feeder. Anybody can do this, it'll work just fine. My limited electronic repair expertise does include the fact that you should heat up the post and the wire before you apply the solder. I think that's important. This box that I got is really intuitive. Really, there's only three buttons. So really, the only thing you need to know is on the bottom, there's a switch to, okay. to switch from 6 to 12 volt. This is a 6 volt system, so. Testing. Okay, there you go. Just hold it.
The only hard part about riveting this back on was I had to hold the camera in my mouth. It was running out of hands. So I cut the sound out. It sounded like, like Darth Vader. I was making fun of somebody else's video the other day. It looked like they were having a seizure. I scooped up most of this corn and put it back in the feeder. I'll tell you what, you may have noticed I set that timer at about 326. Look at the game cam when that buck came in. I set it to go off at 5. We'll see if it works. That'll work. Thanks for watching.